Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to It's Not Me, It's My Basement, an RPG Maker horror game where there might be something in your basement. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. A friend hang out with his little buddy. A little buddy hang out with his friend. That's nice. Friends. It's good to have friends. The thing I need from this drawer. So this game is made by, uh, they've also made another game. It's called Cemetery Mary. It's kind of one of my backlog playthrough games. But this is their most recent game. It actually just came out today as of this video upload. An old train set. It isn't as fun to play with it as it used to be. But Cemetery Mary looked fairly interesting, so, uh, if by the end of the video you think this game is kind of interesting, go check that out. My toy box. I try to keep my toys neat. Mom likes when my toys are neat. A hamper. There's no use for this anymore. Mom and Dad's room. <laughs> Didn't want any commentary to that, huh? The bathroom. I don't have to go right now. Dad painted this, I think. It's from where you used to live. He said he, he would take me one day. Your dad used to live in the Windows XP desktop background? These plants are plastic. Like my soul. If they weren't, they'd be dead by now. Nothing I need from this drawer. What do we do? Hold up, let's look at the date on the calendar. It's the third of the month. Hmm. You guys have not been cleaning around here. Mom always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. Dirty dishes are piled in the kitchen sink. Little details. Look at the drawing. The drawing has been in the fridge forever. Mom and Dad told me that all the great artists sign their work at the bottom. Look in the fridge. Good, we haven't run out of jelly yet. You got jelly. Raspberry jelly, a perfect accessory for bread and toast. We still got... Yeah, peanut butter. I thought so. You got peanut butter. And jelly time. Nothing I need. Still got bread? Just enough. Two slices. You got bread. That's everything I need, right? I can only make one sandwich, but... It'll have to do. Sandwich made. But we're running low on groceries again. I'll make a list and go to the market. But I have to feed them first. Feed them. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich it will have to do for breakfast. Interesting. Room here. Chains. This is a TV. It's on the floor for some reason. Dad set up for me so I could watch VHS tapes on days that were stuck inside. But now that he isn't here, I find it hard to rewind the VH VHS tapes on my own. I'm scared I might break them. You're more likely to break the VHS tapes just playing them and, like, <laughs> rewinding them, knowing my experience. I like to draw and watch TV at the same time. Maybe one day I can do that again. Nothing. Nothing. Dad said he painted this painting. I don't like it as much as like I like the ever painting. At least the books haven't been collecting dust. Plastic. Nothing. Nothing? I can't leave the house right now. I need to feed them first. Okay. It's breakfast time, you guys. Remember the share. Guys. Yeah, that's normal. All fed. You gotta feed your basement occasionally. If you're not, you know, they get a little uppity. They, they start leaking pipes. Electrical goes wrong. Stuff like that. I better go write that grocery list before I forget. Alright, all written down. I guess we're going to the market today. The bread, jelly, and meat. Mmm. Bread, jelly, and meat. Huh. Fairly pink house in the fairy... 
Black and white world. The swing set is broken. I can't ask anyone to fix it for me. I just hope the other swing doesn't break. The water is muddy and still. And lifeless, apparently. And this is one harsh winter. Let me just go to the grocery store, my bunny slippers. Walking through my Tim Burton gardening. Well, here we are again. I hope Miss Baylor has it today. People. You all have colors, but the rest of the world doesn't. Ah, Embry. Back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. May I have some more bread? Well, sure, sure, of course. What kind? Uh, whatever kind. Right, right. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat. And some sourdough on the house. Nice. You like that kind, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. Say, uh, Embers, how is everything? Your folks all right? Oh, yes. They're fine. Well, not fine, but, you know. Ah, uh, right. Well, uh, you know, my kid's in the back in town this weekend. If your parents want, we could come over and maybe help around the house? Bring over some bread? Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Mom and Dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're embarrassed. Right, right. Well, just tell them I offered anyways, okay? Anytime they need it. Right, I will. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. So, the premise of the game, it mentions that the mom and dad are away, but you only have to take care of yourself now, aren't you? So... Then you have to ask yourself, did they leave? Or are they in the basement? Or maybe they're dead. Who knows? Oh, Embry, you're back. Good morning. Good morning, Lucille. Can I have some jelly or a jam or whatever? You know, normally I'd ask someone to say please, but you're special. You don't gotta. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. Do any of us? Um, I'll get that ready for you, lickety split. Thank you. So, Embry, this is the third week in a row you came by here dressed like this. I like this outfit. You know, if your mom and pa ever need help with laundry, I don't mind. Do you think I smell Lucille? Yes. Oh, no, 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 of course not. I just want to, you know. It's all right. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Lucille. They're zombies, aren't they? Ask for sales flowers here. Flowers are in need, so I don't stop by here anymore. I miss gardening with Mom. Miss Costello sells milk and other dairy products at her stand. Honey sells honey. I like honey, but it's way too sticky to bring home with the way things are right now. Can you imagine? You were destined to sell honey. You don't have any today either, do you? Afraid not, kiddo. This is like the first shopping trip in a row that you were empty. I know, I know. You know, if I had any spare, I'd give it to you. You really don't have anything? Look, kid, all I got needs to be sold. I got people to feed too, you know. Look, kid, I promise next time I have extra, it's all going to you. Alright. See you later. Be good, kid. We need meat specifically. That's all I came here for. I guess there's, uh, nothing else to do but go home. Peter Bar and Jelly's just buying time. Everything is put away. It's getting dark already, huh? I'll have to feed them dinner. Then before it gets too dark. I hope they're not too hungry after this morning. They eat more than they used to. But there's only so much food I can ask for at the market. If I ask for too much, they're going to start wondering where it's all going. You eat so much now. I can hardly keep up. Dinner's ready. You know, if you want to solve that problem, just, you know, lure someone over to the basement and just a quick... Knock, knock in the back, and that'll solve your problem. I've seen plenty of movies where they solve their problems that way. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Dinner time. You locked that real quick. Dinner is done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed.
Do you see how easy it is? They grew so quickly. I thought we'd have to wait forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in the right conditions. But you have to be careful too. Because as easy as it is for a flower to bloom, it is just as easy to wilt and wither away. Without a constant eye on things, it's very easy for a flower to wilt. So you must remember to take care of the little thing. Because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. Whoa ho ho! They're banging on the door. They haven't done that in a while. I should check on it. Right? Chains ain't holding. Push the couch. They're hungry. But what do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. And I have to try to save as much food as I can. But if they're hungry, I, I can't just let them go hungry. Or else they might... Go back to bed. No. I already fed them. They... They can wait until morning. Right? Uh, I'm going back to bed. This will work out. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. And also do chores today. What chores am I doing today? I should probably start making lists like Mom used to. Now let's feed them. Fine. I'll give them just a little more food. No more than that. It's bedtime after that. No, no, I can't use this. I need this for breakfast tomorrow. Not the cyber. Okay, this should be enough for them. I hope. Curious what the repercussions of these choices are, which is why I'm running two save files. So right now I'm gonna run the save on the not feed them route. It may it may it may just be fluff, may not actually do anything. We'll see. Breakfast, breakfast. What can I make for breakfast? I'll just use whatever's here. I just got bread yesterday and jelly. And we still have butter and stuff. Yeah, I'll just make another sandwich. I just hope they'll be filling enough that they don't cause a ruckus again. Butter. Yeah, I should use it. It's better to feed it to them than let it go bad. Got butter. We need from the pantry. Bread. I just went shopping. And yet... Breakfast is ready again, but, um, there was something else I have to do in here. Uh, was it again? Clean? All right. Today is the fourth of the month. Almost forgot to write it down. Today marks four months since it happened. Four months. Since the monsters appeared. Four months. Since I've been living like this. Four months that I've been keeping them fed, so they don't eat me like they ate them. This is okay. This is fine. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. I try to keep the house clean, as clean as I can. But I can't clean everything by myself, and I don't know the right way to clean most of it. I should try to clean the windows. The house can get really dark when they're not clean. Mom taught me that. My parents. That night they appeared. The sounds that followed. It sounded like they were eaten. But I didn't actually see that happen. It's just what I think. And since I didn't see it happen, I, I think that maybe they weren't somehow. We might just have to wait here for them to come back. I, I don't know. It's all very confusing. I just, uh... What's that saying that adults say? Take it day by day. That's what I do. I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. And if I just keep those things down there fed, everything else will be okay too. 
There's not much to do at home without mom and dad around. I've been reading. A lot. I wish I could be like the kids in these books. Cause maybe then, I know what I'm supposed to do. The door again. But this isn't their normal feeding time. They want meat. Mom? Um, pre. Are you there? Mom? Embry. It's okay. Mom, you... I know you must have been so scared, but everything is better now. You can open the door. Respond. No. Y you are my mom. What's that now? If you're really my mom, tell me something only she would know. You're not going to open the door. Really now? After everything I do for you? So stop it. My mom, my mother would never talk like that. Not ever being gone for so long. All right, kiddo, this isn't funny anymore. Open the door before I get mad. Do, do you really think that's gonna work? Dad doesn't yell like that. Pretending to. Since when did you learn to talk? I, I'm not gonna open the door. Is it done? Embry? What? Please let me out. I'm tired of this. What? Why do you sound like... I hate this. And you hate it too, don't you? So why are you still doing this? Just open the door already. I'm a fairy. Trust me. Monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you won't open the door? You... How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you really hate yourself this much? What are you talking about? You're, you're talking nonsense. What do you want? I'm keeping you fed, isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? I want out! I want out! I want out! Let us out! I... I... I need fresh air. It's okay. Everything is okay. I... I never heard them talk before. I didn't even think they could. They're getting smarter, I guess. They're learning. They're adapting. That's bad. But what am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them starve? No, what am I saying? If I let them go hungry, the only thing they'd have left to eat is... Maybe you should just leave town. But I keep feeding them the way I am now. No, no, it's gonna be okay. I, I will figure something out. And I'll just keep feeding them until I do. Speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. Are they gonna break out one of these days? We're just gonna get in there and the chains could be gone? Be pretty bad. Dinner time again. I just hope they don't try something like they did earlier. There must be something in here. I never end up touching this cheese wheel. It's kinda heavy. I was supposed it was supposed to be good, but it's probably clicking mold now. That's fine. Some people like mold in their cheese though, right? I'll give it to them. You got cheese. Wait, not anymore. I guess not. They're quiet. I'm not going to announce it's dinner time. I'll just throw it down. Alright. They're fed, it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm gonna bed. It's all gonna be okay. Everything will work out. Just gonna go to bed. Keep the chains on there.
I told you. It's easy, isn't it? Coat horns? It's fun. Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. Whenever I'm feeling worked up, I just start brainstorming the next painting I want to make. I know even on the worst days, I can always come back to painting to make it better. Will I ever be as good at painting as you are? No, no. You could be. You can be whatever you want. Really? Mm-hmm. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. But you can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. So you should make sure you know what you're doing when you go in. So your painting doesn't end up ruined. Woohoo. This day something's gonna go down. Cause we've had two flashbacks, one to each parent now. They're banging on the door again. This is the second night in a row. Are they still mad? I kinda feel like... Mad is too... Complicating their emotional goal. I'm pretty sure it's just they want to eat you. It's a little more simpler, you know what I mean? What am I supposed to do? I know food isn't the only thing they want now, but food also calms them down. I I need them to be calm, but if they might be able to eat. What am I going to do? Go back to bed, it's okay. I can't. I can't just give it to them. I'll pretend I slept through this. I'm going back to bed. See, it works out. Just don't give in to them. They're like, you know, like kids. Kids that eat flesh. Well, possibly human flesh. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. How much food is left anyways? I'm gonna have to go back to the market later. Maybe there will be meat today. I think it's what keeps them the most full. But I have to feed them breakfast before I leave the house. Gonna make breakfast. Wait, do we even have food? I usually try to avoid the giving them cereal because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll just throw them the box. All the boxes. We really have to run this low, haven't we? We really have run this low, rather. I was just at the market, and each was is closer to giving than the last. There. What's that thing the thing Dad would say? Eating me out of the house and home. I've got no choice. After I feed them, I definitely have to go back to the market today. I just hope this is enough for breakfast to begin with. I feel like they're gonna ambush me one of these days. Here we go again. Even though it's just cereal. All of it together should be at least enough for breakfast. No want toasted oats, want human brain. It's fine. They seem... Fine with it. I better head out now, then, to make sure I have enough for dinner. Time to walk for the Tim Burton forest. Again. Hopefully there's some meat there. Back again. I have to talk to Miss Baylor before I go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it to it before anyone else. I'll pick her for it if I have to. Please, Miss Baylor. I'll take anything. You never have any meat. Miss Baylor? Embry, good morning. Oh, you seem pretty happy today. Huh, does it show my face? I'm just excited. There's good news for you today. Good news? For me? Does that mean you have meat today? Oh, no, not exactly. It's a different kind of good news. Oh? What is it then? We see. There's a traveling doctor visiting down today. The doctor? He's quite well known. It's supposed to be real good, yeah? I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents, so maybe he can. I yeah, I'll just push him down the stairs. I'll, uh, I'll try and find him later then. 
Oh, there's no need to go looking. I can see him talking to Mr. Wilson right now. Oh, really? Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Squirt. I'll be watching him here. Go on. Go introduce yourself. Right. Huh. It's a very colorful plague doctor mask. Hello. Ah, Embry. It's just in time. I'm sure Miss Baylor already told you, but this is Dr. D. Light. D. Light? Why is your name... I'm not sure if I trust a doctor with a pun name. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not trusting this doctor. Yeah. Nah. The one and only. And I'm quite a delight if I do say so myself. Well, that would be a delight for when they eat you. So you're Embry. Folks around here are telling me that you needed some help. It's quite nice to meet you. Your doctor. Indeedly so. You look like a clown. No, oh, Embry, hey now. A clown? Oh, I certainly hope I'm a funny one then. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce Dr. D. Light to your parents? Keep why I say Dr. Light. The Mega Man. If anyone can help them, you should be able to. Yeah. Right. I will do my best to assist. Go on then. Lead the way. I swear we're gonna push him down the stairs. I just see that coming. So this is the way to your house. Quite the thicket to walk through. Um, Mr. Delight? Uh, it's Doctor. Right. I didn't want to say it in front of everyone else, but... You should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure whatever problem your family's been going through, we can fix it. Can you have an old... Do you got a flamethrower, maybe? Embry, you go to the market all by yourself. Yes. Is that an issue? Oh, I just, well... It seems like a long way for a child to walk all by themselves, that's all. I'm used to it by now. So, Embry, what do you like to do? What do you mean? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Are you an artist? The stains on your apron seem to hint at it. I'm quite the artist myself, you know. Oh, nothing. Oh, pardon? I don't really do anything anymore. I guess I read sometimes. Oh, what do you like to read? Hmm, nothing. I see. I'm gonna feel a little sad if Dr. Light's delight is a legit doctor, you know? He just, he likes to be like a clown to like cheer up people. It's a little inappropriate, but you know, he's trying. Uh, I don't know, maybe he could be evil or something too, but like, if he's just a legit, normal, funny doctor, and we push him down the stairs or something, I'm gonna be a little sad. While we, well, while we're still on our way, why don't you tell me a bit about your parents? My parents? Yes, if I'm treating them, I should know about them, shouldn't I? Uh, well, do you know what's afflicted them? Hmm? Your parents? I've been told they're very sick. So sick they can't leave the house. But you, you seem fine. I was just wondering what I should know about them before I meet them. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Right, I understand. Apologies if asking you made you uncomfortable. Doctor, you like, keep talking to me every few steps. You barely made it there. You know, this walk isn't actually so bad. It's nice to just stroll through nature every one and again. I guess. Still, though, it surprises me you take this walk so often by yourself. You're not scared of any monsters coming along to get you in the woods. Embry, are you alright? Huh? No, sorry, it just... It looked like I upset you. I'm okay. Don't worry. Hmm? You... Seem like you're under a lot of stress. A child with parents so sick, the child has become their caretaker. That must be so difficult. Please do not worry. I will do all I can to return you to a normal life. Shut up. Eh? I told you, you can't help me. You should just go. Well, can I at least try? Realistically, what it is is that the, the route is short for gameplay reasons, but price story-wise, it's really long. So that's why he's talking to us every two steps. Let's see. If the Doctor does not die, I think I'll actually be surprised. 
You really still want to see them? I do. Just go in the basement. Here we are. Your house seems nice. Very cozy. Yeah. Sure. Oh god. Oh my. Quite the heavily locked door. May I inquire as to what's inside? I mean... I'd rather you didn't. Embry. Are they in here? Can we open the door? What? No. Hey, hey, it's all right. Can you tell me why they're locked up like this? I... I don't know what's down there. But whatever it is, it's really bad. And we can't open the door. Embry, you... See, I told you you couldn't help me. I'd still like to try. You're not gonna leave until I open the door, right? Okay. I will... open... the door. I just... Uh... Something the matter. My key's gone. That's... I always keep it on me. Did I drop it at the market or something? Did you bring it to the market? I... maybe? I don't know, I don't remember. Why don't we look around for it here, then? We can take the market after we're sure it isn't here. I'm sure one of the stall owners would have said something they saw you drop it anyways. That's a good point. Let's look around then, I guess. God, I'm on the edge of my seat. What's gonna go down? This painting. Yeah? It's kinda spooky. Yeah, I think so, too. A full bookshelf makes for a full brain. Yeah, there's a lot of books here. And quite a variety to add. How delightful. What a lovely plant. It isn't real. That doesn't make it any less nice. Emery, is this your work? Yeah. Why? It's beautiful. F thanks. My oh my. Is that a TV I see? Yeah. I'm impressed. These are quite rare around these parts. Yeah. I remember feeling lucky to have one. Very lucky indeed. Does it work? I mean, yeah. The tapes just need to be rewound again. Fascinating. You must have drawn this picture in the fridge, yes? Yeah, I did. But it was forever ago. So let's see here. This is you in the middle. And your parents on both sides. Yeah. That's sweet. What a wonderful drawing. You keep track of the days? Yeah. Don't most people? Well, yes, but... You do it all by yourself. How do you know? These dates are marked off in crayon. Your oven is in good condition. I guess. I don't really touch it. There's a lot of dirty dishes here. Do you need help with this? No, it's fine. I don't really use the dishes anymore, so... A bread box. How cute. Yeah, they had this since I was before I was born. Oh my, you've got a big brother bread box then. This is such a lovely painting. My dad painted it. Quite a talented sir, I must say. What's this room? Bathroom. Do you have to go? Oh no, but thank you for asking. What's this room? Mom and Dad's room. Well, where it used to be. Ah, I see. Poor doctor. So awkward. In like a very negative way. Why, look at this. You have quite the view from your room. I must say, I'm a bit jealous. Really? I don't think there's much to look at. What's this? A friend hang out with his little buddy. Oh my, a train set. Have you ever seen a train in real life before? No. Have you? Many times. I use them to get around quite often. I see. Are they cool? Yes, they are very cool. What the? Oh, did you find it? Yeah, I did. But this doesn't make any sense. I've never put the key in here before. 
I don't even remember. Well, I suppose it's good you found it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. There's not a lot of clothes in here. Yeah, it's easier to just stay in this. Oh, but don't your clothes get dirty? And what about when you need to shower? I just wash my clothes you during my shower. Uh, I see. Ha, huh, you make your bed every morning. That's a good habit to practice. I guess. So that means they've been possibly getting out? And they put the key back in the wrong place, per se? Well, this is gonna go really wrong. Alright, open the door now. Doctor, you don't want to do this. This seems like quite the long way down. Is there a light switch? It's at the bottom of the stairs. But, uh, I think the lights burn out anyways. I see. Well, let's go on then. What? I said we could open the door. I didn't say you could go down. Huh? What do you mean? Of course we have to go down. That's the whole point, isn't it? No, you can't. Embry, let go. No. Please, I'm... Poor doctor. <laughs> Look at that. It's time for bed already. Well, suppose it was a delightful meal. I'm gonna be honest, they probably named him Delightful just for that reason. That was louder than the other times. I need to go check. Oh no! The basement door is open. I didn't open it. I, I definitely locked it before I went to bed. So, how is it that... What do I do? Go downstairs. I... I have no choice. I have to go down there. Because if I don't... Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, this is a really long stairs. This is not even a basement, this is a damn bunker. We're gonna find the remains, what the? We're gonna find the remains of Delightful down here, aren't we? What the? Is there another twist? Another layer here. Yeah, this is a little unusual. This has to be either symbolic or a very weird basement. Huh? Well, they could be a doppelganger species, though. So. We'll see. You, you're... Embry. You... What do you look like? You look surprised. I don't see why. I thought by now you'd realize. You and I are one and the same. No, that's not... That can't be right. It can't. Why can't it be? Oh, that's right. It's because... 
You think we're a monster. And that's not you, right? You're not a monster. That's what you think, right? Monster, monster, monster. We're monsters, but you're not, is that right? How does that make sense? You're not a monster. You pushed the doctor down the stairs. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. He fell. I kept tugging on his sleeve and he... He stumbled. He tripped. I didn't push anyone. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? You opened the door and then begged him not to look inside. Why did you do that? You wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. You wouldn't have tripped him if you kept the door shut. You wouldn't have even seen the door if you didn't let him in. And maybe he wouldn't have been here to begin with if you weren't such a... monster. Why did you bring him here? Oh, Embry. What are you going to do with yourself? What have you been doing all this time? Feeding, feeding, feeding. And for what? I think you feed me. Because you like it. It makes you feel better when you do, right? You feed me. And then you feel better. You feel safe. Nothing is coming to hurt you. And you know, the funny thing about that is, day after day, despite how much you've been feeding me, I'm still hungry. So it's a weird skinwalker? Just a nightmare. But it's gone on long enough. Hmm. Do we die then? Go back to bed? I can't. 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 I I'll just. I'll be okay. I just need to go back to bed. Okay, my door is firmly shut. Th that's fine. Right? Maybe. I should check that there's nothing under my bed, right? I'll. I'll just quick peek. Jump scare? Nah, we're cool. What? Thank goodness. Nothing under the bed. Bedtime then. Emery. Emery. Dr. D? What are you doing here? I thought... You... Emery. What's wrong? The doc, you... I... You what? You really should tell me what's wrong, you know. How am I supposed to help you otherwise? What's that? Uh, I see. It must be because... I tried. And I died. That's what happened. I... Well, there's no helping it now, is there? I tried and I died. I tried and I died. And that's... Because of you. Dr. D, I... I'm so sorry I tried to stop you. But you... Just... just Kept going. Well, I had to, didn't I? Nothing ever would have changed if I didn't. So I kept going. And look where that got me. I just wanted to help you. And you didn't want that. Why is that? Is it because you feel helpless? Or is it because you know help is only going to make it worse? That's it, isn't it? Help will make it worse. Because once you get help, there's no longer an excuse to why this has happened to you. Uh, I I'm sorry, my mask was slipping. So now I feel compelled to ask, 
Was it worth it? Was my life worth that as excuse? I would sure hope so, for your sake at least. It's too late for me now. Who else will you sacrifice to save yourself? They might not be as forgiving as me, but maybe that's what you're looking for. After all, then you can say they deserve this. Just nightmare. But it's gone on long enough. You know what you have to do. Yes, I think it is just one ending. Uh, well, one main ending anyway. Because the description of the game does that literally say, like, it's just one ending. But it's probably just a little slightly different path to get here, as far as cutscene. So that's it for It's Not Me, It's My Basement. All right, there's two ways I think you can take this story. I think there's a literal monster, but there also could be a symbolic one if you want to go that way. But nothing quite literally hinted that we were like secretly a murderer or something like that. The symbolic one would be, oh, the parents are just dead down there and something happened and we're just covering it up. And then the monster down there that's being fed is just symbolic for ourselves. And in the end, we went down the stairs maybe to uh, whatever. I think there's a little monster down there. I do think there's like some weird shapeshifter down there. So I, I would interpret the ending as we went down there to essentially get Eden as a form of weird endless repentance rather than go to the authorities and say that there's a shapeshifting monster in my basement. Maybe you guys should come down here with a flamethrower. <laughs> you might just burn down the whole house. Bake it out. So a solid creepy story. You do have to stretch your logic a little bit why she's not going for help. But she's a little kid. I guess the little kids sometimes twist the logic of what they have to do. But, you know, with most horror stories, if you start applying full, sensible decisions, you don't really have a horror premise. But, once again, I liked it. It was creepy. Check out this Career's Ever Games if you want. Once again, uh, this is the most recent. came out today, as of this uploading date. But they do have, like, a very long game, I think. Not extremely long, but a longish one called Cemetery Mary. That's on my backlog so go check it out, or maybe one day you'll see a playthrough of my channel. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play It's Not Me, It's My Basement. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.